So, um, we're back in the um, dark and mysterious world of garlic. And um, we're not quite so interested, I think, at least I'm not quite so interested in the impact it has running off uh, vampires. I'm more interested in the impact on cardiovascular inflammation. Uh, John Lorscheider in the forum mentioned that um, he had taken uh, garlic for a couple of years based on research that he had seen by Dr. Gary Budoff, uh, or Matt, excuse me, Matthew Budoff. Um, he, Dr. Budoff is the last author listed in this, um, this article. John provided me the article and I reviewed it and I thought it was very interesting. Um, here's the title, Aged Garlic Extract and Coenzyme Q10 Have Favorable Impact on Inflammatory Markers and Coronary Atherosclerosis pro Progression, a Randomized Clinical Trial. So <clears throat> this is interesting, a, a clinical trial using garlic. Um, it was a fairly small group, 65 intermediate, intermediate risk firefighters. Um, and it was, it's not a huge journal. It's the Journal of Cardiovascular Disease Research. It was uh, back in 2012. And um, he did see some interesting results, though. Now, <clears throat> just as a reminder, we're talking about garlic, an antioxidant uh, related to the other sulfur-containing antioxidants. This is the... Um, the active ingredient, or one of the major active ingredients, you may remember in a, in a um, related video that um, aged garlic extract has, at least, and maybe garlic as well, has uh, other components that appear to be active. Um, fruit arg, fruit, uh, a combination of, uh, or a derivation of fructose and L-arginine uh, have no sulfur in them but they did have a 55% decrease in the genetic process of uh, creating um, inflammatory markers. Now, allicin, or the, the, um, the sulfur-containing components were even stronger in this genetic process. They, uh, they counteracted over two-thirds of the inflammatory process um, ramp up associated with uh, stimulating the, uh, the uh, again, the inflammation of the cells that were being tested. Now, <clears throat> so what, what did Dr. Budoff see, and um, why hasn't that study been followed up with a much bigger study? Well, I don't know that we can answer all of those, but we'll answer at least a few of them in just a minute. Uh, my, but first, a brief introduction of myself and my channel. Uh, this is, I'm Dr. Ford Brewer, F-O-R-D-B-R-E-W-E-R. I started off as an ER doc. After a very short time, it became really clear that most patients coming into the ER bring with them preventable death, disease, and disability. And it's just frustrating. I decided to take a significant turn in my career and focus less on uh, curing disease that had already happened and more on preventing disease. Uh, that tended to make a little bit of a bureaucrat out of you at that time. Um, Hopkins did have a, a clinical preventive medicine program. I went there uh, to Hopkins and uh, enjoyed it, had a blast, ended up running the, uh, the uh, pr program teaching docs uh, preventive medicine. And that's what I've been doing for the past 30 years. I left Hopkins, but have continued to work in, uh, uh, in areas such as uh, a company called Prev uh, Premise, stands for on-site, uh, over 800 docs, uh, and also a lot of nurse practitioners, PAs, um, other companies as well. I've had my own uh, practice seeing patients. Again, all about focusing primary care folks away from this focus on uh, curative medicine and much more of a focus on preventive medicine. That's what this channel's about, is providing that information to uh, anyone who has an interest. Now, <clears throat> here, oh, that's my write-up. I don't want to show you that. 
What I do want to show you though is the the table at the end of Dr. Budoff's um, uh, study. So the age, he, he used a AGE. Uh, AGE here stands for not the number of years, not uh, advanced glycation end products. It stands for aged garlic extract. He used uh, garlic extract and CoQ10 uh, and compared that to placebo. Here was the uh, the average age of um, of the study groups, 55 versus 54 <coughs> in placebo, 100% male. These were uh, firefighters. Uh, coronary artery calcium scan, he had one before and he did one after. I believe it was a year on, uh, on aged garlic extract. Um, <clears throat> He also looked at HSCRP and BMI. Now, what's interesting was, here's the results post, after one year of follow-up, taking AGE, uh, the garlic extract, and CoQ10. Um, the coronary artery calcium uh, scan decreased significantly in progression. So calcification of the coronary arteries decreased. C-reactive protein um, that actually decreased compared to an increase in the placebo group. But here's what's interesting to me. The BMI also decreased in the study group, the glycation, I mean the, uh, I'm sorry, the garlic uh, extract group had a decrease in weight, a decrease in BMI compared to the placebo group, which had an increase. Now, BMI is so important you really have to ask the question. I saw that, and I went back through the rest of the article. I couldn't find anything on it. So, again, when something as important as BMI to um, cardiovascular inflammation uh, pops out, you really start to say, okay, is there a confounder? Remember, a confounder is something that's related to both the result and maybe related to the... Um, to the study and design, or, or the study design. So, for example, is, is there something that made these folks, these firefighters, that took glycate, um, did it again, that took uh, garlic? Was there something that was related to taking garlic that made them lose weight? I went back and I didn't see anything. Uh, and again, that. If there is nothing in the study, that's admittedly a weakness. Um, I'd be interested to see if you uh, get involved in looking at this, your thoughts. Maybe you see something that I didn't. Um, but so what does that mean? Again, fairly weak uh, evidence. Um, I guess I shouldn't say weak because you start getting into a question of, okay, what? how do you define weak? There's clearly evidence that there's something going on here. Uh, the question is, is it related to the BMI or is it related to the uh, garlic extract? And that's about as far as I can go. I'd love to hear some uh, explanation if any of you guys have it. Thank you again for your interest.